Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today's episode number 70. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today's episode is not a full week from last episode. I filmed number 69 um, Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember exactly. But I'm going ahead. This is Saturday night, by the way. I'm filming this one tonight just so I can kind of get back into doing it on the weekends. Um, I was going to join the chat going on uh, hosted by Ste um, Stephanie. Melanie at Stitch to My Lou, but I forgot about it until just a few minutes ago and it's already too late. So, uh, Jesse's in there playing, so he may make an appearance here in a few minutes. But yeah, I scooted over a little. Right there's my card from Kayla. <laughs> and I added the bunny this week instead of the normal. But yeah, I've got six, seven, eight finished objects, <clears throat> three active whips, I've got some bags to show you, and another a couple other little things that I wanted to just talk about. And uh, I do want to hop out on here real quick and say that I will be making a video soon for shout outs to some new channels that I found and um, about cows. I've had someone ask me about like the current cows going on so I'm going to work tonight or tomorrow on finding all the cows that are currently going on um, and try to share them all in one video so that if you're interested in any of them you can you know, get all the links and all that stuff from that one video. Alright, so we're going to hop in. Like I said, I got eight finished objects. Six of them are exactly the same. <laughs> but um, I want to start with the first one I finished. I finished this one Tuesday night or Wednesday night, whatever the 30th yeah. was. I finished it on the 30th. It's just a Christmas ornament. I wanted to make more Christmas ornaments this year so that I can, one, have a bunch for my tree, and two, gift some this uh, coming Christmas more than I usually do. And um, this is the only one I made in January. I'd like to make a couple each month, but... I'm already behind so that's okay but this is this is a pattern but I did kind of wing it too a little I made it a bit longer and in different sizes than the pattern but the pattern that I used is the mini stockings Christmas ornament by Sorella so this is mine this is Red Heart Super Saver I can't remember what it's called it's like holly or mistletoe or something like that it's the variegated white red and green and it did pretty much stripe itself and then the white did pull <laughs> a little so there's like a little white on one side and hardly none on the other but I think it's cute I'm actually going to be making this exact same pattern tomorrow but I'm gonna make it solid white as a Christmas ornament and then I might top crochet on top of it um, in celebration of the day 2319 which is a Disney reference. If you're a Disney fan, you know what it is. If you're not, then it has no significance to you. But I want to <clears throat> make a solid white one as a Christmas ornament, and I might uh, put 2319 on it um, just as a Christmas ornament because we like having ornaments that stand for something in the last year. So that's going to be one for this year. Like in 26, no, 2017, I uh, made the eclipsing sun and moon ornament for that year so this year I'm gonna make the sock for 2319 but this is the one that I made it's just a Christmas one I really like this pattern it's super quick I made it in like 30 minutes maybe uh, you start down here and then you make this little foot flaps I don't know what they're called and then you actually cut it off and you have to sew this part shut and then you attach and go back up hey bub ah. did you eat your snack go watch TV okay <laughs> but yeah, so I'm probably going to make some more of these and um, maybe with different yarn though. You want to play with this? Um, I can wash my hands first. Go get a baby wipe and wash your hands. Okay? Okay. <laughs> he loves washing his hands. Alright, the next finished object, and this does have a mistake in it and you'll probably see it if, right away if you also made this. I got the baby wipe. Yeah, just get one out and wash your hands, okay? <laughs> But um, it is the second square to the 2019 scrap busting square cow <laughs> hosted by the Unraveled Mitten. Uh, she's putting out one new square pattern every other Wednesday. So there should be 24 uh, by the I end of the year. I washed my finger. Good job. Now I got wash my hand. Yeah, wash the rest of them. So I made the first one. It was spring okay. green. And it was a... Good job. Go put the baby wops back. Thank you. Uh, half double crochet herringbone or something like that. This one is like a 
kind of a puff stitch in a sense, but it's it's made just single crochets and treble crochets. The treble and the single together is what makes oh, it puff out. This made it go on foot. Yeah, it's just an ornament. It's not for actual foot. Your foot's too big. Uh, your foot is small. My foot's bigger than yours. But anyways, here's my second one. Your head's on my finger. My mistake is down here. Now I repeated the first row twice. What? Is that went on my finger? Yeah, it's hanging on your finger. That's this okay. is Red Heart Super Saver Pumpkin. This is a hang on tree. Yeah, go play with it. Can't really see the. My, my foot is small, Mama. Right there. It's better. My foot is small. I put uh, four rounds of single crochet to make it the 12. And yeah, I'm happy with it. Even though there's a mistake, I think it, it still looks like it could be part of the pattern, so it's not a big issue. <laughs> Actually, I think my mistake was the second round. I did the yeah. first row right, and I did the second row wrong. I got this. But Ooh. it doesn't matter. I don't care. It's still cute. Look. And I'm not frogging it. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can play with it. Mm -mm. I don't need it. I don't like it. I'm okay. Well, here, set it right here. Okay. Go, go play with mommy's sock. <laughs> All right, my other, my other six finished objects are going to be going to Billy at the craft. Floridian. So I always forget how to say her name. Pretty sure that's it. But she um, is, uh, what's it called? Collecting raising hats for a school in I think North Carolina that need hats for kindergarten through first grade uh, size heads <laughs> and uh, for boys and girls. So I had two skeins of I Love This Yarn that I've had for a long time since uh, that big clearance sale that began last year. And I hadn't used them so I thought I'd use them to make hats. And I got three uh, kid size hats out of each skein with just a little bit left over. You ready, tricycle? Hey, I can put this ermine on it. Okay, I don't think it'll fit on there, Bubba. Huh, they maybe get this bigger. Yeah, but yeah, so I made this is this right there. three little hats. Uh, in this color. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I know it's all of this yarn, yeah. but oh wait, I kept the bands. Okay, okay. this one. I thought these these both the, blah, blah, blah. both of these colors are you know gender neutral boy or girl color but they would you know like a boy could want it or not and a girl you know so I thought they'd be good colors. Hey boob. Hi. This one is I love this yarn. Sunrise Sky. I wanna have it. You wanna have it? There you go. I want two. Yeah. Hold on, let me say what this one is, and then you can have this one. And then these three. They have like purple flecks in them. <laughs> it is I love this yarn elements flower. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. But yeah, so I got six kid size hats out of just two uh, skeins of yarn that I paid a dollar each for, I think. I mean no lot. Yeah, ninety nine cents each for so that's pretty cool. So that's like <laughs> what, thirty three cents a hat. <laughs> That's not bad. So I'm going to be packaging these up and sending them off to Billy this next coming week whenever I get back to the post Mama, office. You never get the toilet. No, you don't need to take them off. You just get you just play with the ones Mommy gives you, okay? Not that one. Well. That one's calls a big ones. I don't want to play the, the big ones. Okay. So that is all my finished objects. Um, and whips. I have three active whips. I'm trying to remember what they all are. Okay, yeah. Um, I was working on this one a few minutes ago. <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to pull it out. Okay. <clears throat> the first whip I was working on a little while ago. <clears throat> this is the seagull amigurumi that was gifted to me. I'm trying to pull it out. Right. I'm done with the body and I started on all of his little bits. <laughs> so here's his little body. <laughs> I think it's really so cute. It's actually pretty big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> Alright, one of his little legs done. He's supposed to stuff the foot but not the leg. So it looks floppy. And this is his beak. <laughs> so I gotta make another leg, two uh, side wings, and then a tail ring. And then he has like yarn sticking out of his head for a uh, yeah, hair feather. <laughs> But that is the. It got colors on it. Yeah, go play with it. I'll go put the that is the um, single scraps is what it's called by Crochet by Kim. It is a paid for pattern, and it's also in the book. Um, 
Zumagurumi, Zuma I think it's in book seven or six or something like that. I'm not sure <laughs> about the number. But yeah, so I was wanting to sit down and finish that, but Jesse uh, ended up getting a little sick earlier, so I had to deal with that. Okay, get a fork. So that's uh, whip number one. Whip number two is my uh, pillow. It's exactly where it was when I showed it in the last video. I haven't worked on it at all. Okay. So I'll go ahead and refresh okay. you. <laughs> Look. Yeah, that's a good um, job. I made a popsicle. The um, seagull is all red heart colors. This is kind of really cool. Yeah, you made a popsicle. That is so cool. You didn't get it. cool. This is the Cozy Christmas Cushion by Love Crochet. It's a free pattern on the website, Love Crochet. It's, cool. and it's got a matching blanket that is a paper. It's pattern. cool. Yeah. It's a pop. This has got something red on it. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try to get to working on this soon because I want to finish it up. But that's um, Red Heart Super Saver Light Blue, and the white is Karen Simply Soft Party and Snow Sparkle. But yeah, so that's still where it was last time I filmed. Hey! Mama, you can't be on this I can't. All right, my last whip is the Jada and Stitches 2019 calendar blanket. Okay. I am completely done with the first part. Now it's popsicle again. Yeah, go play with your popsicle. So here is the okay, first part of mine. Sharks. What do you mean yeah, sharks? It's pretty wide. <laughs> but it is Red Heart ah. Super Saver. Yeah. Blue, coffee, and hunter green. Okay, Mama. I like it. We so cut far. this off. Now we cut that one. Now. The first part of this pattern, it's all double crochets back and forth. It is 20 rolls of blue, 10 of brown, 10 of dark green, and then I think the next week will be the same thing but backwards. It'll be 10 of dark green, 10 of light green, and 20 of light blue. I'm thinking. I'm not sure, but I imagine it's going to be the same size. Yeah, so that was pretty fun to make. I made it really quick because it's one of those projects where you can sit there and just like space out and yeah. you know not even pay attention to what you're doing because it's just double crochets over and over again. So I'm, I'm waiting patiently for her to release the second part before I start on it to make sure that that is the right pattern. But yeah, so that is all my whips, my current whips. I got a couple things I want to start, but I'm going to wait till um, I get some of them, them finished or more finished because I want to work on Kayla's bingo board. And I'll talk about that in just a second. But I also want to start working on more fair stuff. But Kayla's bingo board is Kayla from Llama Mama. What did you look? Okay. A barge. That's okay. I take the barge. Um, she does like a, she started in January. Yeah, and I didn't participate in January. But uh, I wanted to do February. So I printed it out and I put stickers on it because stickers make me happy. But it's basically just a bingo board with a bunch of yarn related um, tasks. And then when you get a bingo... You take a picture of it and with the stuff that you made and send it to her or you know to ha hashtag it and then um, she enters everybody who got a bingo into a giveaway I'm pretty sure it's the rules <laughs> but yeah so I haven't done any yet except the free space but there's all kinds on there it's like finish a whip create a hat work on a blanket project learn a new stitch create a project using scrap yarns frog a project you're not in love with anymore uh, create something for charity, create a shawl. There's a lot of things. Some of them are on there more than once. And to be fair, and I think she even mentioned it on her Facebook group, because there's a group for it. <laughs> um, like there's there's one, two, three, four finish of whips. Five. So if you finish a whip, that doesn't you don't get all five. You get one of the five. So if you wanted all five of those, you'd have to finish five whips. So don't be a cheater and go through there and get all five of those with just one whip you know be a be a good sport and actually play the game properly <laughs> but yeah so that's cool i want to work on that i'm actually going to make me a hat uh, because there's one that's create a hat i want a hat out of um i love this shine painted canyon i've had it forever i wanted a hat out of it so i'm going to make me a hat there so i can get that little heart <laughs> i'm just making little pink hearts so that um she can see like when i take a picture of it she can see which one I got. Alright. <laughs> Another thing I want to talk about is the few videos ago I talked about oh I'm shaking the camera. How I think Randy and Terry and a couple other people will have like a scrap ball 
or I think those were cakes, of all their little pieces of scraps. So I started one. This just looks like a variegated yarn right now, or self-strapping. But if you were to dig down in there, you would see that it is different yarns. Um, there's probably like 10 different yarns so far. Now I do keep a lot of my scraps for amigurumis. So the colors that I don't use a lot for amigurumis, I've been putting in here. And then like this one is Red Heart Bright Stripes, I think. Um, little tiny ball just had a little bit of the purple and then a bunch of the black. So I went ahead and put that on there. The leftover bits from the hats that I made. These two. Or these six two different yarns <laughs> are on here and a couple of like like a brown color like most of my little amigurumi scraps that i keep are like red pink black white brown colors that i can use for eyes or cheeks or noses or something so all the other colors i'm going to be putting in this and once it gets huge <laughs> i'm and it's all worsted white um yarn uh i'm gonna make a scrap something either an ugly pillow or an ugly blanket or something but it's probably gonna take a while for this to get big because this is pretty small right now. Uh, I could probably make an ugly hat right now out of this, but uh, I don't want an ugly hat. I want an ugly pillow or something for the living room. So yeah, I just wanted to show that and I'm gonna try to show its progress as it gets larger. <laughs> it's pretty big right now. It's like the size of a baseball maybe. So yeah, it's gonna be growing hopefully soon. All right, another thing that I wanted to say, um, Terry at Yarn Joy, she's got like a corner to corner banner that says Yarn Joy. I really want to make one of those for No Catch a Name. The only problem is it would be really long if I made it the same size as she made hers, so I might make it smaller. Like, you know, that, that size <laughs> across. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it with white background. And I'm going to make the letters in Red Heart Super Saver Bon Bon. These are two that were gifted to me recently in the Valentine's Day swap hosted by Llama Mama Kayla. And I also got one of the huge ones. It's like a giant one. I don't know how many ounces it is. But, um, so I thought that would be enough to do that. Because I like color. i just throw that on the floor. And I think it would be pretty hanging up there. But I'd have to figure out a way to get it in the camera. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out a good angle to get. Uh, to have a decent background. But I'm working on it. <laughs> Alright. Mm, what else do I got to talk about? Alright, I want to talk about this book real fast. A few weeks ago on my Facebook group, I mentioned the blanket that I want to make for our county fair. And uh, some people asked about where I got the pattern. And the only place that I can find the pattern is in the book that came out. It's called uh, Crochet Digest Summer of 1995. It's a little tiny magazine. <laughs> I can't find the pattern online anywhere, and I even um, found the woman who wrote it. Her name is Darla J. Fanton, and I messaged her, and she said that she did write the pattern, but she sold it to this magazine, so she doesn't have the rights over it to share it anymore. So she couldn't share it. So the only, I think the only place you can get it is from this magazine, which obviously, since it's old, it's almost 30 years old. It's crazy that the 90s were that year long ago, because I'll be 29 this year, and I was born in 1990. But, um going to be kind of hard to find so there are some available on ebay i found some and um by luck you could probably find it like i did i found this by luck at a um almost at a church sale but it was at a church it was a library book sale at a church <laughs> in their like banquet hall because it was big so yeah so this is the magazine i like this blanket that's on the front too but the uh afghan that i want to make is the um <laughs> Sunbonnet Sue by Darla J. Fanton. And there it is. I want to make this because it reminds me of blankets my grandmother used to make. I think we actually had one similar to this. I think my sister may still have it because it was made for her. Um, and I just think it's cute. It is a graph. Let me flip to it. I can only show you the graph a little bit because, you know, it's a, a paid for pattern. It's a graph <laughs> that you follow and then you put a border around it. It's pretty simple. And it also has like little ribbons through their their hats so I think it would be a simple pattern it just might be a little tedious because I'm not the best at color work but I really want to make it to enter into the fair I think this this would be a first place winner hopefully a purple ribbon winner because after getting that one last year my mandala madness I, I want another one <laughs> but um, I think it'd just be funny a uh, fun piece to show off and to have afterwards my mom already claimed it though she wants it i haven't decided on the colors yet um i may do similar colors like i want the background to be either white or a cream color to look kind of antique -y. 
and I'll do a similar color for the hat like a straw color and I'll probably do uh, the greens and maybe the purples but instead of pink that pinky color where is it here I might do um, yellow like because I got a lot of pale yellow and then some bright yellow and I don't know I haven't figured it I gotta sit down and look at my stash because you don't need a whole lot of each of these colors it's just really a little bit uh, the most colors you need would be the border color and the background color so I don't know I gotta sit down and get this figured out because I need to get started on it because it's probably gonna take me a while to finish but anyways I wanted to share that with y'all and here's the back of it it's got more patterns in it I'm thinking about making this for the fair too because it's uh, American flag and the stars are buttons because we have a category that's patriotic decoration and I thought that would be cute but yeah it's got a lot of cute patterns in it and I'm glad I picked it up I wish I could find more stuff like this at our book sale at our library it's three days long and each day they get cheaper and then the last day like a lot of it's free they just want to get rid of it but you if you want to get any of the craft books or magazines you got to be there the first day it opens as soon as it opens and you got to push old ladies out of your way <laughs> because our uh usually every year me and Devin goes we're the youngest people there it's mostly older people getting um stuff like that or uh novels a lot of people come from other counties in the state just to uh dig through the novels because we ever heard them talking about it actually but um yeah on the third day all the magazines are free up the first day they're like 15 cents each and the second day they're 10 cents each and then the last day they're just like take them so we always grab a ton of magazines like we come home with stacks of magazines all kinds of magazines because I like to uh, cut stuff out of them for my journals and stuff and to make stickers with and my sticker machine and all that fun stuff all right <laughs> that was a lot about this little book but I love this little book he's over there cutting up a, a yarn band with a butter knife that's my butter knife yeah, you're doing a good job. All right, next thing I want to talk about is some bags. I uh, updated my shop this morning, earlier today, not this morning. It was like this afternoon. Yes, my darling. Yeah. All right, so I have two sets of Minnie Mouse bags, and these are sacks. All of them are sacks because I got lazy. <laughs> the inside of hers is these really cute bow print. I thought that went good because Minnie Mouse has the bow boutique. <laughs> it's like a little cartoon. And it's also got a notions pouch. There's two sets of them. Yes, baby. It's also got the bows on the inside. This is yarn bands. Yeah, yarn bands. And then there's Mickey Mouse. This is the thicker material. It's not cotton. I think it's called duck something or something like that. It's just thicker. And it's got Mickey Mouse heads on the inside. With the notions pouch with the same material. There's two of those. And then there were six llama sets, but two have sold already. So there's four llama sets left with uh, like a teal inside. And they also have notion pouches. So there's four llama sets, two Mickey, two Minnie. There's a Pokemon one left and a couple of the green ones that I think would be good for St. Patrick's Day sets they're over there and I don't want to grab them <laughs> but um and all of them are 15% off until February 15th <laughs> yeah so if you're interested uh head over to the shop it'll be linked below now I got the big one down yeah forgot that pieces yep you dumped it out huh now we mean put it together we'll go put it together like a puzzle that'd be hard though mm -mm. It's not a puzzle. Yeah. It's a wood band. It's a band. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a band. I think that's about everything for this episode. It's shorter, but it's because uh, it's because it's less days. So yeah, I I'm gonna try to keep it on the weekends, either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, it's easier for me to film usually on Sundays because Devin can take Jesse to his dad's or something, or outside to play when it's warm. It's actually been warm. It was 60s today, and it's supposed to be in the 60s tomorrow. And then I think the 50s and 40s the rest of the, rest of the week, which is pretty good because <laughs> it's been really cold for us. You have to remember, I live in Tennessee, okay. so we're not used to super cold weather or super no. de -duper hot weather. We get it every now and then, but we're kind of in the middle most of the time. Yeah. So those papers I have. But yeah, so I guess I'll hop off here. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. He's showing the people the yarn. It's really showing Tell them what color it is. It's color gray. It's color gray. Well, that's about it. Is it a size four? Yeah. It's got white and gray and gray. White and gray. gray. Wow, that's so cool. It is. Do you like that yarn? Yes. It's pretty. And this one. This. The table's got to be covered for Oh, wow. And this yarn is so colorful, and this white is so colorful. Yeah. It's like a subway. Say bye. Bye.